Hey there guys, guess what I found on my hard drive? Some Pokemon battles that I've recorded that I've never uploaded before. So I figured, hey, what the hell, might as well. These are ridiculously old, they're like from before Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out. Anyway, my opponent is Electivire2405, and I lead off with Rotom Washing Machine, and he leads off with a Gliscor. Obviously, it's one of those Poison Heal Gliscors. So that's a bit of a bummer, but at least he definitely can't stay in on Rotom, because Hydro Pump will just wreck him. So he switches out into Florges, which walls Rotom pretty effectively, and Hydro Pump even misses. So let's just Volt Switch out of there. Because there's not a whole lot Rotom can do to Florges anyway. So let's get it out and bring in Ferrothorn, because I don't think Florgus can really do anything to Ferrothorn, unless it has, like, in power fire. Good for Toxic, doesn't work, because I'm a Steel-type. So... I'd like to think I have the advantage at this point, he switches out, obviously. I was pretty much expecting him to do that, he brings in Talonflame, oh boy, that thing. Pretty good opportunity for me to set up Stealth Rocks, though, and... Should he ever switch out his Talonflame, that thing is not going to appreciate those. So let's get Ferrothorn out of there, bring in Avalug, because if there's one thing Avalug does best, it it's taken on physically bulky fire types. Or a physical attacking fire types, whatever. He goes for Bulk Up. I don't see Bulk Up on Talonflame too often, so that's pretty cool. Goes for a Flare Blitz, plus one Flare Blitz, let's see. That's a little more... Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Avalug does not like that. And I was gonna go for an Avalanche. I didn't think that the Flare Blitz would do that much, to be honest, because Talonflame isn't all that strong. I mean, it has, like, what, base 80-something attack? That's not really that amazing. But, yeah, the burn definitely ruins me here. That is just unfortunate. Anyway, he goes for a Roost. Getting, getting some health back. And... I didn't really see that coming, I thought he was going to just go for Flare Blitz again. If I knew he was going to go for Roost, I would have definitely Earthquaked. Hell, maybe if I got like a critical on that Earthquake, that'd be the, the most hilarious thing ever. But sadly, that didn't happen. Oh well. So Avalog's just kinda hanging in here, he's probably just going to go and bulk up over and over again right now. So, that's unfortunate. Maybe I should switch, like any sane person would have probably already done in this situation. But, if you've... Even you, you guys know me. Me and sane person doesn't really go that well together. Or at least not all the time. And besides, what do we have to lose? I mean, sure, it's only gonna be like a plus six talent flame. How hard is that to beat? So he's at plus three now. Maybe... I should reconsider my options, but nope, I'm foolhardy, keep going, all day, every day. Because if I do manage to beat this thing later on somehow, it'll be all the more impressive. I guess that's the logic I'm rolling with here. I don't know if it's gonna prove to be sound logic or not, but I guess we'll figure that out eventually. I mean, Avalug's pretty much at death's door right now. He can't take much more. Can I at least get, like, one critical avalanche? Oh. Okay, never mind then. Critical avalanches aren't gonna help me out in this situation either. It's the freaking burn, man. It really bums me out. I mean, it's only, like, what, a 10% chance to burn with Flare Blitz, so... Luck screws me over once again. And then he goes for Roost. He's at, what, plus 4, plus 5 now? I think. Either one of those. And I kind of figured he'd roost, so at least this time I Earthquake. And it's still not going to do much. Or barely anything. So I think Avalug's going to die now. Or maybe hang on with like a sliver of HP remaining. Alright, burn, take it away. Nope, still going to live a little bit. And he's still not going to bother to just kill me. Because, well, he really shouldn't because the next burn will kill me. Oh yeah, completely forgot I had Recover. Even though it's not going to do me any good because he can just one-shot me whenever he wants to at this point. I mean, if a plus one Flare Blitz already does over half my eight, my uh, health as far as damage goes, a plus six one will definitely wipe me off the map. 
so... I was kind of just figuring, okay, if I can just keep stalling, he'll eventually have to attack me. And then the recoil will put a decent dent in him. And then my opportunity to strike back will present itself. And he has leftovers. Okay, that's good to know. Although, actually, I think we knew that already. Get Galvantula in there. Yes, I had a plan. Because my Galvantula has a Focus Sash. Haha, see, I knew I had a backup plan all along. So, you can pretty much kiss your plus six Talonflame. Goodbye, good sir. Boom, get that shit out of here. See, I always have a plan, and I love it when that plan comes together. Anyway, he sends in a Metagross, and it's an air balloon one. I figured he was gonna bullet punch. I mean, might be a bit obvious, but I went into Rotom, he doesn't bullet punch, he goes for agility. Well, alright then. Curious to see what he's gonna do with that Zen headbutt. Well, I do believe this is a physically bulky Rotom washing machine. Of course he gets the flinch. And I'm starting to recognize a pattern here. I'm, I just can't get lucky. Meteor Mash, even though I resist Steel-type moves, so maybe he's gonna go for an attack boost? He's not gonna get it, though, and here comes the Will-O-Wisp. Metagross, consider yourself ruined. Because there's no real way for him to heal this, although I suspect his Florgus probably has aromatherapy or something. So maybe I should be expecting a switch into Florgus. Because he definitely wants to get rid of that burn as soon as possible. Instead, he brings in Ampharos. Curious switch in, I guess. He could take a Volt Switch pretty well, but the Hydro Pump should still do some damage. Yeah, that's not bad. Although, that's probably going to be a Mega Ampharos. Just know it. Yup. Mega Ampharos. I wonder how well I can take a Thunderbolt from that thing. Probably not too well. Although, why take one when you can use the Volt Switch right out? I mean, I knew I was going to outspeed it anyway, so... Get the Rotom out of there. Do I have something that can take electric moves? Oh, I guess Ferrothorn might be able to. I just hope he doesn't have Focus Blast. I oh, nice. And then he goes for another one because he's faster than me. That one does hit, though. I wonder how much it's... Ooh, that's not good. Well, let's just get some Leech Seeds on him. I mean, I have Stealth Rocks up already. Ferrothorn... Probably not going to be overly useful anymore anyway. So, give me some health back. Maybe I'll get lucky with some Focus Blast misses or something. That'd be pretty sweet. There we go. And switch right back out. <coughs> Excuse me. Get Galvantula in there, because he's pretty much fodder at this point, And he Volt Switches. So, sorry Galvantula, but someone had to take that. And you're even more, less useful than Ferrothorn is at this point. Although he does give me the switch in advantage now, so that was really a very smart thing to do on his end. Sharpedo it is. Alright. Seems like a pretty good uh, Pokemon to bring Rotom back in against. He goes for Protect, it's obviously going to be one of those speed boost Sharpedos, because who the hell wants to use a Rough Skin one these days? Hell, who the hell wants to use a Rough Skin one ever since you could get a speed boost Sharpedo? But yeah, that's basically what he's going to do. I'm not overly worried. Because there's not, not really anything he can do to break through Rotom that easily. Brings Ampharos back in again. Although, that is running low on HP. Especially with the Stealth Rocks adding up. So... Will-O-Wisp. I was kind of hoping to catch the Sharpedo with that. But this will also work. Whittles HP down a bit. And then probably Hydro Pump is going to be able to KO him. Probably not Volt Switch, because he has a quadruple resistance to electric moves. But this might just do the trick. Douse that thing. Nice. Pretty much figured that thing was gonna die. So, Mega Ampharos is down. Doing pretty good so far. I mean, he still has Florgus, Sharpedo, and a burned Metagross. Oh crap, he's probably gonna go for the Aromatherapy now, because there's no way in hell I'm one-hit KOing that thing with Rotom. So just Volt Switch out. 
get something else back in. Maybe Ferrothorn? Or, one I haven't shown off yet, Ursa Ring. He goes for Pedal Dance. Why in the hell? Oh, that was pretty powerful. Damn. But why in the hell would you run Pedal Dance on a Florgus? Anyway, Toxigore poisons Ursa Ring. And this is a quick feat Ursa Ring, meaning that when it's poisoned, it gets a whole lot faster, and then Facade gets a whole lot stronger. He's basically gonna be zipping around at the speed of sound, wrecking stuff. Just the way I like it. Although this could be a bit of a bummer. I mean, he's obviously gonna go for the Protect now, try and get the speed advantage over me. So, figured my while he's protecting, I might as well switch out, get Rotom back in here, because Sharpedo can't really touch Rotom. Best he can do is crunch, and there's no way that's gonna be a one-hit KO. Maybe two-hit KO if he if he's lucky. So let's see how much a crunch does. Yeah, I basically figured that much. And the Volt Switch, he's not gonna survive that, because Sharpedo is so paper thin. <coughs> and get Rotom back out, because that's just how Volt Switch works. But uh, yeah, he doesn't really have a whole lot of stuff left, so I bring in Charizard, my special weapon. And he brings out Gliscor again. That's... That'd be pretty helpful if I had a Mega Charizard X, but it's Mega Charizard Y. So, he made a pretty horrible mistake there. Because the sun's gonna come up, and then he's gonna get blasted by a boosted fire move, a fire blast. And that's just gonna wreck him. Wreck him something fierce for easily one-hit KO. Now, Gliscor might be able to beat Mega Charizard X one-on-one, -on -one, but Mega Charizard Y, no way in hell. Next is Metagross. He's not gonna take this very well. And boom, get him out of there. And there goes his balloon. Not that it helped him much. But Metagross goes down, and I win. Wait, when did I kill the Florges? Huh. Oh well, see you next time.